This guy. <laughs> so low. <laughs> uh, all right. Let's try this again, y'all. Fourth and final time. Three, two, <laughs> one. <laughs> Hello, Brickersham family. I'd like to thank you for tuning in. You are now in the FOBS household and we're getting ready to lead you in Habdallah. But before I do that, allow me to introduce you to my family. All right, I got my lovely wife over here, Danielle. We have my youngest, Sanaya, and then also we have my oldest, Amari. And I am Samuel. Nice to meet you. Thank you all for coming by. So, Habdallah, what is it, right? It's a ceremony, a ritual that's normally performed after the Shabbat. Now, there's a couple different things that are included in this, right? We got music, we got symbols, and we, obviously we have meaning, like what is, what is, where does Habdallah, what does it derive from? So let's start at the beginning, music. All right, unfortunately, the worship team was unable to uh, return my phone call, so it looks like you guys are stuck with us as far as the music goes. Uh, not necessarily no instruments around here, but I believe my youngest has the best voice in the house. So she's gonna, she's gonna show off for us tonight. Sound about right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. You got us. We'll figure it out. All right. Awesome. Okay. So then now, all right, we have symbols, right? There's, there's elements that are included in this ceremony. Um, we have a couple of them before us right now. Um, one is the wine. In this instance, we have grape juice. Um, one of the other elements is a spice box that contains sweet smelling fragrances uh, within it. Smells great. And then also we have a multi-wick candle. Now all these different things, all these different elements mean different things. So for starters, we have the wine, right? What does the wine symbolize? The joy of Shabbat. Boom! The joy of Shabbat. Awesome, right? We love Shabbat. Get to come together as a family. Get to worship God. What's not to love? about the Shabbat, all right? Also, we have the sweet smelling fragrance, right? What does it, I kind of gave that away, but what does this sweet smelling, what does the spice box represent? The sweetness of Shabbat. Yes, the sweetness of Shabbat, right? We just love the smell of Shabbat. We love when it comes around, being able to slow down and take time and to focus and to just be in the moment. And then finally, we have the multi-wick candle. Um, anybody? Want to help me out with the multi wick candle? No. Family, the family coming together, coming together as one. Definitely. Like a busy day in their lives. The, yes, thanks for summing that up. Yes, it is. Uh, the multi wick candle represents the many different members of the family, many different members of the community coming together as one unification. So, uh, that would be an introduction into the elements. Uh, go ahead and light us up for us, if you don't mind. Um, and I can talk about, talk about a little bit of the meaning of Habdallah. Right, so um, in essence, the mean of Abdallah is division or separation. As I mentioned earlier, it's a ceremony that's performed after Shabbat. It concludes the Shabbat and begins us looking into the next week, which is why we end the ceremony uh, saying Shabbat which means have a good week. So you have that. But what is Abdallah derived from? Um, allow me to kind of pull a little bit into that. Um, the basis for Havdalah comes from the four of the Ten Commandments, which says, remember the Sabbath day and to sanctify it, to keep it holy. Um, the rabbis decided that remembering the Shabbat requires sanctifying it at both ends, at the beginning and at the end. And so that is a little bit of Havdalah. And if you don't know, or for my family here who maybe have not noticed it, the Havdalah actually touches into all five senses. Right, you're filling the cup, you're smelling the spices, you're seeing the flame of the candle, you're hearing the blessings, and of course, tasting the wine. Right, she loves it, she won't let us pour it out. Okay, so long story short, let's get into it. You guys ready? Mm -hmm. All right, here we go three, two, one. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu, Melech Haolam. Bore peri hagafen, bore peri hagafen. Amen. La 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 Bore me, Nabisa, 
me. Amen. So, after the blessings, that's what we just performed over the different elements, we go through and conclude the ceremony with uh, Eliyahu Hanavi, which means Eliyah the prophet. Um, as you can tell, Amari is very anxious and excited to get into it, so uh, I'll allow you to go ahead, and, go ahead and get us started there, sir. Go for it. Eliyahu Hanavi, Eliyahu Hatishvi, Eliyahu, Eliyahu. Eliyahu Hagiladi Bim Hey Rabbe Yamenu Yavo Ilenu In Mashiach Bin David In Mashiach Bin David Eliyahu Hanavi Eliyahu Hashishbi Eliyahu 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 Hagiladi all right, so with that, we also conclude with Shavuot Tov, which means a good week. But before we do that, hold on, hold on. Let me, let me get a quick plug in here first. One, Hebrew school. You guys know that I'm teaching Hebrew 1A. All right, so I'm looking forward to seeing all of my students bright and early, 9 o'clock, January 23rd on the dot. The coffee shop's going to be open. It's about to go down. I will be in line getting coffee. But before you get there, just know that registration ends... On the 16th. So if you're interested in learning Hebrew, register, please. It's on the website. Got any questions? Hit up the Hebrew department as well. Also, um, allow me to say a quick plug about my family. Um, we were introduced to Havdalah. Obviously, we've been members of Baruch Hashem, but last year really um, challenged us to learn a little bit more about it. So this has been nothing but a blessing to us to, uh, one, uh, learn about the ceremony, but also to learn a little bit more Hebrew. So, uh, Thank you to uh, Daniel for the invite, and also thanks to Cheryl, who always uh, helps me when I come by to get more candles. So thank you. You two staff is awesome. Um, with that, I guess we conclude by saying Shabu yeah. Watov. Have a good week. Are you blue dye supposed to dip the... Uh. Oh, I thought there was no water. <laughs> <laughs> oh,